Hello and welcome. Today we are diving into option chain data and exploring the so-called volatility smile using Python. I'll show you how to use Y Finance to pull option chain data for Apple or any other stock you're interested in and visualize the volatility smile, which can give you quite interesting insights into market expectations for price movements. Whether you're new to options or looking to add a new analysis tool to your strategies, stick around and let's get into it. First of all, we are going to need Y Finance as this is our library to pull option chain data. And next I'm going to instantiate an Apple object here. So this is just the ticker symbol for the stock you're interested in. And then I'm going to pull all expiration dates for the options on that ticker. You will get that by just extracting options here. And as you see, you're just getting weekly expiries here. So this is every Friday of the week, as you see here. All right. And from these expiration dates, I'm going to pick one that is a little further out in the future. Why? because the options closer to expiration often have less liquidity and the further out dates tend to give us cleaner data. So I'm just going to define expiration here and then I'm just going to take the, let's say the 18th of November here. So this is our expiration. So we got 18th of October here. Now I'm just pulling all option or the whole option chain for the selected expiration date. And that's pretty straightforward. So just going to define option chain, take ticker again, then pick option chain and provide the expiration date. So this is just going to pull you all options for that expiration date, so 18th of October here. So this is looking like this. So you see a lot of data containing all calls and all puts on the Apple stock for the expiration date 18th of October. All right. And to make things more simple, I'm just going to focus on calls for now. You can also apply the whole analysis for puts as well. Of course, I'm just keeping it simple here. So I'm just going to take calls here and store that in a variable calls. So with that, I only have call option values. And let's take a quick look at that because we need to filter out some stuff here. So if you take a look at a strike price of five here, so just as a, a reminder, Apple is currently trading at so I'm not 100% sure, but it should be around 226 US dollar, maybe a bit higher, maybe a bit lower, but something along those lines. So a strike of five has basically no open interest here. So it is deeply in the money, of course, because everyone would uh, buy Apple for five US dollar, but this option realistically is not traded. So as you see, we need kind of a filter here to get rid of those options, which aren't even traded, where there's no liquidity. And I'm just taking the open interest values as a filter for only those options, which are actually traded in the market. All right. So let's reassign calls calls and then open interests, open interests is larger or equal to 500. So screening that column to be larger than 500. So we have at least 500 open contracts, which will help us get rid of options that are barely traded and likely to give us noisy data. So we got our calls here and now you see we have some in the money options we have some at the money options here and we also have some of the money options here. So just if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've covered options in a quite detailed video also with all those 
uh, terminologies like at the money, in the money, of the money, I will link that in the video description. All right. So these are our call options. And now to plot the volatility smile, you just want to get the strike prices on the x-axis and the implied volatility on the y-axis. And what the volatility smile is telling you now is that you are getting a u-shape. All right. So let's first plot and then we get more into details here. In order to create a meaningful plot, we need matplotlib. I should have imported it in the beginning, forgot about that. So the obviously better practice is to just import all libraries at the start of a script. So matplotlib imported. Now let's define a, a figure here. So we are getting a properly sized plot here. Just going to take 10, 6 here, and then we are going to plot calls strike. So the strike price is on the x axis, and the implied volatility, volatility on the y axis. And with that, we should get a beautifully shaped U shape showing the volatility smile for call options. Obviously, you can make this plot even more beautiful. I'm leaving that up to you. So give it a title, give it an X label, Y label. But you see the volatility smile here by plotting the implied volatility against the strike prices. So these are the implied walls and these are the strike prices. And at the money is roughly here, as I said, and as you can see, the volatility smile shows that deep in the money, that is, that are these options, options, and far out the money options, these are those options, have higher implied volatilities, while at the money options have lower implied volatilities. This U shape, known as the volatility smile, appears because option traders expect large price swings for deep in the money and out of the money options compared to at the money options. This is partly due to the market's recognition of the possibility of extreme events, so called tail events, or large movements in the underlying asset, which increases the implied volatility for strikes far from the current price. At the money options, on the other hand, tend to have lower implied volatility because they are less sensitive to these large unexpected moves. Interesting concept. Volatility smile for options. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to do your job. And let me know if those kind of topics are interesting for you. Thanks a lot for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.